I'm getting ready to freeze dry some broccoli and some cauliflower. I've got the broccoli in some uh, water. As soon as that comes up to a boil, I'm going to blanch it for about two or three minutes. Then it goes into some ice cold water to cool down to stop the cooking process. And then I'll be putting them into my trays and into my fridge freezer. So now they've all been blanched and uh, I've just put them into these trays and uh, with this first one here you can see I've got some cling wrap on it now. These will now go into my fridge freezer and uh, once they're frozen I can uh, put them into the freeze dryer. So uh, I'll bring you back when uh, I'm up to that stage. The machine is pre-freezing and uh, we need to wait until it gets down to 32 Fahrenheit and uh, then I will load up my trays. The temperature's got down to 32 Fahrenheit so now it will tell you to close your drain valve which ours is already closed and to load up your food in the freeze dryer. So four trays in our freeze dryer two with broccoli and two with cauliflower. Now Jeff's just putting the insulation pad on. Closing the door and now it will tell you to press continue. I've just taken out the broccoli and cauliflower from the freeze dryer these uh, went for 20 hours. Now I'm just about to uh, check for dryness and they are absolutely dry. I haven't turned off my machine yet. I always check to see that they are dry before I do so in case I have to put them back in. Now what you're going to be looking for also is for any cold spots. So if there's any cold spots then you know that uh, they're not dry and they'll have to go back in. Now I'm just going to show you also, that's lovely and dry, it's beautiful. I'm going to get a piece of broccoli and I'm going to pop it in some water and a piece of cauliflower. Now I just want you to see how quickly these will um, rehydrate. Now I've just put in a piece of broccoli and a piece of cauliflower into some water and uh, these have hydrated straight away, absolutely straight away. I'll pick it up with my fingers, there you go guys, look how soft that is, all hydrated, absolutely beautiful. I'm very happy with this, so um, I'm now going to get these bagged up into Marla bags with oxygen absorbers and uh, these will last 25 to 30 years. So I've got my bags all sealed, two broccoli, two cauliflower, so I'm really happy with that. Um, I just wanted to point out that um, whatever size bags you're using or thicknesses, make sure you've got the correct um, oxygen absorber in there and also on your Harvest Right sealer, make sure that you've got the dial switch to the right number. So for instance, if uh, you have seven mil bags, you will put it on number seven. If you've got five mil bags, you put it on number five. Um, as far as the five mil bags go, um, on Pack Fresh's website, they say that they are okay. I would say that um, I wouldn't go any lower than five mil. I usually try and use seven mil, um, but uh, these that I've got here, they are five mil. Um, Jeffrey wanted to see how they performed and um, we've been happy with them so far but uh, I think for long storage um, I would probably go 7 mil and uh, so these probably won't be real long storage. Now when I say long storage I'm talking 20, 25 years, maybe 30. Um, if you're going to use them say within the next five years uh, I think 5 mil are fine. So I know a lot of people have used them and have been very happy with them. But uh, we bought a lot of them. But I think my next uh, order, I will go back to uh, 7 mil. That's just my pre preference.